What's going on there, YouTube? Today we've got a John Deere 4430. It's like a somewhere back in the 70s something. Um, so I had a hydraulic leak. I had two of them. One of them was this rock shaft, drawbar shaft thing. <clears throat> We're not going to do a how-to video, but I'm just going to give you a little stuff that I couldn't find on YouTube that I was looking for. But... If you have a hydraulic leak dripping from down here, whether the tractor's on or off, it doesn't matter. There's a shaft that goes through the bottom of the rear end and it lit, works your control lift, your automatic control lift, your draft control. And so to fix it, all you do is take out a clip ring on this side and the other side, pressure wash the mud out of the way first, and then these, the little end caps will slide out. You may have to tap from either way. And you just slide the shaft out and there'll be some O-rings on the inside right here. There'll be a rubber O-ring and then there'll be a plastic O-ring and they go around the shaft. Well, the main thing I couldn't find on YouTube was part numbers. Um, the other hydraulic leak I had was coming off of this metal pipe that went up to that brand new elbow you see up there that elbow has a flex in it it's a that coupling can move and uh, it was leaking out of the coupling the the socket size is an inch and a half and i think they call this the hydraulic control lever or valve uh we'll go over that part number in just a second but it was pretty easy to replace. I used a sawzall blade and cut the elbow off, and then I could get a big wrench or a big ratchet on that. I couldn't do it with just a wrench. I had to use a big six-point socket, and it popped right on out of there. <clears throat> um, it wasn't hard. Came with a washer. Um, but you can see, find on YouTube, you know, how to get all this out. It's very easy. It's, it's not a bad job or anything. Um, and you can get plenty of points. But the main thing I was having trouble with was um, that part number was the hydraulic filter. I think that's the ring that goes on the hydraulic filter. Um, this was the wrong filter. This part number and this one are the control shaft o-rings and washers the ones that go on the bottom one of them looks like that and they sit around that shaft just like that and so you pop this one out and voila, voila. but then then that top one is that elbow that i was telling you that place uh, which was this guy and so i sawed off the top of the elbow with a sawzall and then just took it on out it had an o-ring right there and as a little let's see here i can figure out how to work my phone uh -oh. check them out let's see If you I found those online and maybe they will help. But let's see if we can crank this thing and hopefully there won't be any leaks. Um, this tractor is missing a lot of its cab. It's had a better day and Got an old battery in it. I already checked the oil and stuff. Turn the key on. I checked to make sure it's parked. We're about half throttle. Hopefully she'll crank. Maybe we'll turn this jump box up. That don't sound good. Well, let me clean them terminals and I'll come back to it.
muffler fell off in the field. I want to get to one of them chrome pipes I've seen on the internet. The 4430 for like $60. Slap it on there. I always wear headphones when I'm riding anyway. We got to put tires on that tractor and swap them tires out on that one. I just wanted to show y'all a little rundown on the 4430 hydraulic leak. I found one video on YouTube, it was like a 4230 or 40 or something jump like that. And I mean, it was a good video. I just didn't give me the parts on it, but they still having a little issue with uh, clutch response. Anybody want to tell me how horrible that situation is? That'd be great. Thanks for checking me out.